All right, hi everybody, this is Shannon, and I wanted to do a quick uh, tutorial or have a very one-sided conversation about pixel values versus stretched values in rasters. This ends up being pretty important in understanding the cell values and learning how to troubleshoot um, and work with your own data. So the habit that I'm trying to create is that when you add raster, raster data to your maps, look in the table of contents and check out that, that range of values. Now, I think this is a typo um, because this is this is something, uh, if this is elevation in meters, we're looking at a DEM that is not the lower 48. That would have elevations from you know, zero or one up to some max, um, but let's ignore that for right now. The question is, what do these values in the DEM represent? I.e., what is each value measuring? And I'm getting at the elevation, right? The cell value for an elevation model, um, the cell value is telling us the elevation for that cell, and specifically the average elevation for that cell. But this habit is really important. What are the units on these numbers and do they make sense? So if we added a slope raster to a map, we would hope that the values here would say between zero and 90 if they were measured in degrees. So it's just, it's getting at that habit creation that we're talking about. So let's talk about our data in specific. Um, if we add, this is different than your USA contiguous data. This is a data set that um, ranges from 1300 to 2800 roughly. But when we add rasters to our table of contents, this is basically what we see. Something, you know, referencing a DEM value, doesn't tell us the units, and then some range in values. And the question was, what do these represent, and does that make sense? So yeah, so for this area that I know is Logan, Utah, 1,300 meters to 2,800 meters makes very good sense. Um, when in doubt, you can always convert that to feet, test yourself, you know, but the, the gist is you want to make sure that this is making sense to you. So, where do pixel values and, and stretched values come in? If we take, um, we've looked up, we know that these values are in meters, we've got a range, right? And we could plot them on this kind of scale. From 1300 meters all the way up to 2800 meters, we've got a range in elevation values. That's what the pixel value is. We're actually talking about each cell, and if we could print this number in each cell, that's what we're looking at when we look at something like this. But because we can't actually print the value in each cell, because that would look ridiculous and awful, it would just be a, a mass of black text, we assign a color ramp, right? And the color ramp is going to extend to the full range of values represented by that data set. This is a cropped little data set that has this rectangular um, spread. So it covers the full suite of our range in values for elevation. We could bin this color ramp and divide it up into a bunch of classes. And that's exactly what the stretched value is. Color ramps, um, whether they're colored or just gray, uh, tend to be broken up into about 255 bins. It's either 0 to 254 or 1 to 255. It's something around there. But basically, 255 classes that cut up this color ramp into little you know, individual chunks. The moral of the story is when we look at data, let's say we have an elevation of 1900. Well, that's going to be this kind of uh, coral color, and the coral color is assigned, you know, the key of 102. This is it, the code number for this color, and that represents elevation 1900. The pixel value is the elevation, it's the hard data. The stretched value is. Think of stretch as the stretched color ramp. The stretched value is the code number for that color that represents this elevation. So to demonstrate that, I had you guys pull the identify tool, which is this little blue dot, and click on your DEM, click on your rasters, and actually just kind of explore what the values are. So notice here, if we click up high in the mountains at the top end of our ramp, we end up with a stretched value of 255. Well, hopefully that makes sense. We're at the far range of those bins, and we're in the highest class. That represents the highest elevation. So the pixel value is the actual elevation. The stretched value is the color that represents that part of the color ramp. Does that make sense? And then, likewise, if we go down into the valley, we get at the low end of our elevations, around 1350 meters in elevation, and we're in bin number two. So our stretched value along the color ramp is the second bin, bin two. Does that make sense? And that represents elevation 1357. Hopefully 
that makes some sense to you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. Again, it just all gets at understanding the data. That's the moral of all stories, is we want you to understand the data, understand how it's built, where does it come from, how do we store the information, how can we extract the information, so that you're pulling the right information to do your work and analysis. All right, any questions, let me know. Thanks.